Just a quick video. Um, this is a beautiful product. It's uh, from Premium Floors. It's a Tassie Oak single strip. They're 145 by 220. Absolute, the quality is insanely good. Um, this house is in two halves. Well, a little bit more than a half and a little bit less. Um, 165 meters was laid by uh, a company where it's 25 years experience of laying uh, and I'm laying the other 100 in the bedrooms. And uh, it was all covered up and I thought, yeah, it's like uh, opening a present at Christmas, I just couldn't not have a look at the work that was done by the uh, contractor and uh, it's pretty disgusted. This is what happens when you have four people laying a floor and they open a box and throw it down with no thought at all. Um, I mean, I try to make my overlaps 400 minimum uh, for, the, for the stagger and there's so many schoolboy errors in this floor, it's quite embarrassing, but uh, Still looks okay from a distance. Probably people wouldn't pick it up, but I lay this stuff all the way up. I lay floors, laminates, engineered timbers, real real timber all the time, putting probably 150, 200 floors. And uh, this just isn't the way you do it. But this is, this is I suppose, the way it's uh, floors are thrown down by these people want to get in and out. They're paying by the meter to their subbies who really couldn't give a shit they just want to get in and out it's just another floor but obviously someone's got to live with this now for the next 30 40 50 years um, I think this client's got a real eye for detail and uh, I don't think they're 100% happy but um, I think this is my assessment of it okay first of all because they're throwing them out of the packet there's no thought at all to mix um, also there's a thing I'll show you I mean just look at the way they've thrown really dark boards in. I mean, you can throw them in and spread them around a little bit, but put a little bit of thought into it. And then they've got loads of what's called stepping. And they've got loads of islands where you've thrown like dark boards all in a lump. It just creates an island. And then they throw in boards, like these salmon boards. There's not many of them. You can hide them or discard them. Um, I know this contractor had 55 square meters of extra timber. They could have been roofless and just thrown boards away if they didn't like the look of them. Um, so you can see there's chocolate boards put next to blonde boards. You know, it's, it's starting to look like a chessboard. You've got big lumps of dark, and this is called stepping, where you have one, and then the next gets bigger and bigger and bigger. There's no stagger, you should have big, big and then you should have one a smaller one so the diagonals are uh, sorry so the overlays don't just go up in like steps this is like step 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 there's nothing coming back on itself and you've got you know this looks like tetris here you've got two chocolates with a say 40 mil 400 mil like um uh you know, 400 mil slide on the join. And then you've got the same up here. You've got more Tetris boards. And there's one here as well. It just looks bad. I don't, know. I don't even want to know what's under this part. Uh, it's unavoidable sometimes to get some of the, 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 I mean, my rule is always got to have 400 on an adjacent board. And some, but I always try to keep an eye on the next board as well, so they don't line up. And of course, we all, you know, you get tired, you make the odd mistake. This is everywhere, where they've just, they've just bricked it, you know, and it stands out because of the contrast in the boards. Look, one, two, three. There's loads of cases where, where it all lines up. But this is the best one, where they've dropped, I know the client mentioned this, they dropped a salmon board in the most prominent part of the floor where you go from the main area into a small hall. It just, it just, it just pisses you off. Every time I see that, you know, if I had to walk by that every day, it just pisses me off every day. I, I want to rip it up. 
But it's a beautiful, you know, some people would come in here and they just go, it's a beautiful floor. And it is, it's still a beautiful floor. But with just a little bit more thought, it could have been even more beautiful. But, um, you know, this is a thoroughfare. Now, this, this is where people are going to walk. This, let's say this three metre wide here. You know, sort your boards out and make this special. Make this really, really nice. Sort of, you know, like here, this kitchen cabinet's going and, you know, it's all going to blend in. But this main area here, come on, guys, put some, put some thought into it. Um, you know, so uh, there's different techniques. And this is throw it down, you know. See, this bit bugs me, this. It's just a big island of dark. But, you know, it's going to have sofas and whatnot. And over time, it will, you know, maybe lighten. But they're in now. And just this, ah, oh, I'm walking along with them. Like these boards lining up. All these things just bug me. But like I say, most of the time, clients don't even notice it. They're just so overwhelmed and happy with their floor. They're going chucking this salmon board in here. So a salmon board there. And a salmon board here. You know, there's probably only three or four of them in the whole... 165 meters, you know, chuck them in a skip. Or at least chuck them in a cupboard. There's some other really naughty little errors here. They've had trouble going under a door. And this is just not excusable at all. Got an overlap of, you can see there, got the crack, crack, got an overlap of 100 mil there. Again, you know, I know it's little, but you know, come on, it's unacceptable. Even that, even in the cupboard, I would, they've got, all these were left over, these little short boards, they're funny packs, they've got six boards, three of which they've chopped, chopped just over a quarter of, you've got a load of those little boards, I mean, come on guys, you've got a million of them, I know it's a cupboard, but come on, just, just get off your arse and go and grab one that isn't bloody white, another salmon board, you know, actually, you know, so accurately laid, the, the accurate is, it's millimetre perfectly accurately laid, if you just, uh, maybe they should employ uh, someone with uh, you know, an interior design or someone, someone to watch them and tell them don't drop that, don't drop that, change it, and uh, then they'd have a, a perfect floor. Anyway, that's enough rubbish from me. It's just my opinion. Um, you know, I say it's been laid beautifully. You can't say anything about that. It's just that little attention to detail. As opposed to muggings here, I've opened all 100 metres and graded them. These are all AB. When I say AB, they're basically A. They're such good quality boards from Premium. would really recommend them. So we've got these two main areas here. And you've got this huge master here, which is, um, so we've saved the most beautiful boards for these two, you know, main areas. And I'm just knocking out three small bedrooms. Um, so they're gonna have the boards, like the chocolate boards, but I've marked out queen size beds. So any boards that, you know, I, mean, I, I can't throw any away. I haven't got, I've got five meters of uh, wastage. These guys had 55 metres. Um, it's a shame because it's beautifully laid and it's accurate, but it's just the mix and, and the staggers. You know, some of the staggers, it's just, you know, take a little bit more time, take an extra half day and uh, you have a better result. But anyway, it's millimetre perfect, so we're not using transitions into the bedrooms from the hall, so they've, they've done an excellent job there. It's a shame, it's just that, that little bit of attention to detail. And, um, you know, I mean, I know they've started and flowed left to right, and it's just like, come on guys, you can't use all those starters. They just line up. So, uh, anyway, it's a beautiful product. Just uh, needs a little bit of thinking and a bit of planning before you chuck it down. That's why I don't employ anybody. You've got four people doing it with different ideas. Just, 
you know, chuck me a board down, it goes, open a pack, one, two, three, four, five, six, open me another pack, chuck them down. It's uh, the difference between laying on a dollar value and uh, doing it because you actually enjoy it with a bit of attention to detail. All right, still a beautiful floor, but um, could have been nicer.